Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we have interviews with our volunteers. They are studying Turkish here in Ankara and they all have differences in different experiences. So they want to share their experience uh, with you and give tips to start learning Turkish. So let's start. Uh, hello everyone, my name is Nastasia, I'm 18 years old, I'm from Ukraine and I studied Turkish for one year, a, a bit more than one year and uh, I started to learn Turkish in university. Hi guys, my name is Amina, I'm 20 years old and I came to Turkey three months ago and that's when I started learning Turkish. Hello, my name is Nini, I'm from Georgia, I'm 20 years old and I studied Turkish uh, in university for one year. Okay, so the most difficult thing for me was to learn how to build a sentence because it's different in Georgian and English and it's different in Turkish. And the second most difficult thing for me was like um, the words and how they change their structure depending on the sentence. In the beginning it was hard to pronounce some words because Turkish has some vowels that is completely different from English. The most difficult part for me uh, was a uh, structure of sentences because it's very different from English and Ukrainian languages that I know uh, and I knew before uh, because um, I think that this structure, this grammar, it's, all, it's also about way of thinking of Turkish people. Uh, I would recommend you to start with alphabet because it's a basic part of any language. Uh, then specifically for Turkish you can start to learn uh, basic words and at the same time you should start to learn uh, um, affixes. Uh, for example there is a uh, basic word uh, apple and ma and you can uh, start to learn affix or th uh, that means uh, plural and uh, it will be apples and malar. For me, the easiest way to start uh, learning Turkish is to start with listening. Because when you listen some words, you remember their pronunciations and it's easier to start talking after that. For beginners, I would recommend to start with the basic readings, then go to the numbers, colors and the basic stuff you need to hold a conversation. My tips for you, which helped me before, is to start learning some easy words in Turkish and after that start uh, watching TV shows, TV series or uh, listen to radio and it's easy to uh, learn Turkish after that. One tip that helped me to possess Turkish is learning new words. You should learn by heart a new vocabulary and use it on a constant basis. But for me what it helped was you associate the words with something you already know and it's easier to remember them. The start can be difficult, but the end result is worth it. 